Welcome to Price File. All right, what's happening, Price File Nation? This is Michael Burrow, founder of Price File, and it's April 16th of 2019. It's a Monday, and we are beginning our journey today, and that starts with me installing my Dexcom G6 sensor, putting in the transmitter, and then I have the receiver here, but as uh, we also have a mobile app too, so I'll get that going as well. I have blood tests in like, I believe in like 20 minutes, so hopefully get this right. Now I did some research and a lot of people who uh, put their blood glucose, this is, a con this is a continuous glucose monitor for those who don't know, and for those, most people who are using it are diabetics. I am uh, not a diabetic, but when I am not on a low carb diet, I'm kind of pre-diabetic, and that's where we want to see how many carbs I can get into my diet and see what happens uh, in order to possibly try to lower LDL cholesterol. Although, I'm we'll link back to the video, my research has shown that I'm not too worried in my specific situation about having a higher LDL cholesterol. Now, I am back to the diet that I was on before I was diagnosed with this hypercholesterolipidemia or hyper hypercholesterolemia um, issue with the high LDL. And so I'm hoping, you know, the, the blood test will be about the same this time so that we can begin the journey and we're going to be rolling in 100 grams of carbohydrates per day, 50 pre, 50 post workout. I might shift it around a little bit depending on what we're doing, but that's mostly going to be it. And then right after we do this, um, after I get my blood test, we are going to do a 75 gram glucose tolerance test. I'm using the sweet tarts for this. We'll make a separate video on that. Now, here's what I look like. This is... um. Most people who, who do this are diabetics, there's a lot of young type 1 diabetics, and they don't have the same issues as some of us other ones. And one issue is, you put it really right here where the injection site is, I have a, a lot of body hair. And I really don't have a lot of spots on my, on my body that don't have hair. Like, you know, a lot of people talk about behind the arm and everything, I'm hairy there, I kind of shaved that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to have to shave, and then we are going to apply a little bit of alcohol which is probably going to feel real good and then we're going to apply the sensor so let's have at it we can do some speed editing here so here this is going to be a three month run that i have so i'm going to prefer that most of these three months do have carbohydrates involved but anyway you want to have this in an area where there's a little bit of fat to grab and not on the ribs, because the one spot I do have some no hair, maybe like right here, but that's right on the ribs, and apparently that won't look as well and will feel a little bit rough. <laughs> Alright, gotta have your hands clean, which I do. That'll be good enough. Okay. So right now I am at 177 pounds, and this is basically, I might as well just take my this is what happens with me when I am on a very close to carnivore diet and I'm not tracking my calories. I tend to under eat. I'm lighter than I usually like to be, but at the same time, I'm not uh, egregiously fat. I would say, I don't know, what is this? 14% body fat. So we're gonna see if we can improve that. And a lot of times just merely measuring calories and macros and all that does that for you. So I don't have any alcohol pads, but I do have pads and I do have alcohol. So. Or make your own. It's mm -hmm. the 91% stuff, so oh yeah, that feels good. Next up, Dexcom G6. Got this through the Costco prescription uh, program, in fact. And each of these sensors, this is the applicator, each of these sensors should last um, about 10 days. And so each of these boxes, I have three of these boxes, we can roll in some B-roll that I took. Each of these boxes should last a month and I have about three months total supply. Then, uh, and so they have YouTube videos showing how to do this. This is me, I'm sure anyone who's an expert, this is my first time, so anyone who's an expert may want to watch the official video, but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, get that we're gonna remove this here. Remove. That one, and then I want this right there. Tear off that, and then. And if you've ever pricked your skin, it's similar, but a little bit more in various places. Oh, I see a little bit of. I want to get a close up here of, of what's going on, and then you want to go around here three times 
I see a little bit of blood in the uh, like going into the unit a little bit, and so that is like kind of like an advanced skin prick in a way. And then I have, I'm gonna get used to I'm not working with this now. I, uh, on Amazon, a lot of people love these waterproof pads, so I'm gonna probably use this because I'm a little bit not in the mood to uh, have this thing fall off. And my hair is gonna be growing underneath this, and when I pull this off, it's probably gonna suck. So this is the sensor, or this is the transmitter. The sensor's already in here. And when you put that in, packaging is very nice, this stuff. I don't think I did that right. Yeah, put the divot in first. This is not rocket science. And then it clicks in. Oh, too much fast pushing. Okay, so it's clicked in. Now we're going to set this bad boy up. Now I've never done this or even watched a video, but I assume it's gonna be pretty easy. Can you see that? Can we just switch to right here? Okay. Tough to focus on that. Let's get started next. Whoa, you got all this stuff, you kidding me? Okay, we got 12 minutes. April 5th, oh, it's April 15th. I don't even know what day it is. April 15th, 7.33 p.m. Okay, so it wants the transmitter serial number, which we have eight, yes. Okay, please wait. Transmitter and receiver are pairing. It may take 30 minutes. Keep receiver within 20 feet. Okay, so 20 feet is our distance. This thing's focusing on me. Okay, so the pairing process is done. It says right there, it's gonna take 30 minutes. So in the meantime, we'll also get the uh, Bluetooth going. I need to get ready to go to the blood draws and that'll be our next little part of the journey. We'll use my cell phone for that one. All right, look at this. We are ready to rock and roll. Enter your first blood glucose reading for calibration. Tip one, then two to unlock. Okay, I need to get set up here. I've actually never shown the actual finger prick on the channel. I have a Lancet Freshie in here, and the Precision Extra is what I'm using. So, ready to go. Okay. Pop out a little bit of blood. Now that you know you got a good blood draw, then you, just so you can see, got my blood drawn there too. I'm all kind of losing blood. Hundred and five. Must have been through some stress there. What where's my calibration? Calibrate. I've not eaten for a while. I'm kind of disappointed in this 105. I might need to chill out. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Calibrating. Enter your second blood glucose reading. We're going to do a different finger. I don't believe 105. Hundred. All right. I think I am Dexcommed here. One oh two is where we start.
Welcome to Price File.